We've come 120 miles down the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon to this side canyon, which is Blacktail Canyon. This place is like a museum of time. And there's, uh, the rocks here are trying to tell us about the vast age of Mother Earth and different parts of her history. Grand Canyon has three main rock sets. We have two of them here. The basement rocks, which I'm sitting on, and then the flat-lying Paleozoic rocks. The Grand Canyon supergroup's not exposed here, and I'll get to that in just a second. The, what we see in the basement rocks, the geologists always start at the bottom with the oldest and work their way up. We see this profound layering in the rock that's made up of a alignment of minerals and these quartz veins, which have been pulled apart like taffy. And I think you can imagine that these would have been warm and ductile and sort of plastic in their behavior. And down in here, I'm looking at metamorphic minerals. These rocks were changed by heat and pressure. And those garnets are the key to the temperature and pressure that these minerals experienced deep in the Vishnu Mountains about 1.7 billion years ago. These garnets tell us, because of their iron and magnesium content, how hot they were. These rocks were melting. They were, they were melting about 700 degrees uh, centigrade. And they were 25 kilometers, or about 16 miles, below the summit of the mountains, the now long eroded mountains. So this, this story is, this particular part of the basement rock actually is the oldest rock in Grand Canyon, the Ells Chasm granite, 1.84 billion years. It was then squeezed and metamorphosed at about 1.7. And then the erosion started after that, or the erosion all mountains go through cycles of being built and being eroded.